What's up guys, it's Dan here. I'm feeling really nostalgic today. So we're gonna be making soft pretzels. When I was a little kid, just a little baker, I loved soft pretzels. I grew up in Philadelphia, pretzels are really popular. And I had this like laundry list when I was a little, a little baker kid of like things I wanted to perfect and check off my list, like chocolate cake, brownies that didn't come from a box, and soft pretzels. So I spent a lot of time baking soft pretzels when I was little, and this here is my favorite recipe. I've been making them for a while. Check out how easy it is. So this dough is a, a straight dough method for all you pastry heads out there. That basically just means you throw everything in a bowl and you mix it up. So what I'm gonna start with is one and a quarter cups of uh, warm water, not too hot, just a little above body temperature. And to that, I'll add an entire package of instant dry yeast. And I like to use that rapid rise yeast that you see sometimes at the grocery store. It actually has a little bit of, uh, I think it's ascorbic acid in it. It helps the yeast and uh, your dough uh, rise a little bit quicker. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of honey. You could use white sugar uh, here. You could use brown sugar, but uh, my preferred sweetener to feed the yeast with these pretzels, straight up honey. So these would be like a, an Amish style soft pretzel. Uh, you're not gonna have that hard crust on the outside. They're much uh, lighter, fluffier, and they have a bit of softness to them. So here I'm just whisking together my warm water, my yeast, and my honey, just to let that yeast get activated and give it a head start. I'm going to combine about two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, about three quarters of a cup of red flour. That extra protein in the bread flour helps the gluten in the dough develop a little bit more. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of just straight up, good old table salt, wheat germ. And wheat germ is actually the inside of a grain of wheat that's usually removed for white flour. It has a really nice toasted nutty flavor to these pretzels. I really enjoy it. You could leave it out if you want, but it's easy to find. So into my flour mixture, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of melted butter, just to add a little richness to this pretzel dough. And then all at once, I'll just add in my water honey yeast mixture, which you can see here has gotten a little foamy. Pour that all in right there. So simple. This is definitely a no frills pretzel dough. And then I'll turn the mixer on low. This is perfect here. You'll see I have a nice mass of dough in the middle and I have a little bit of my dry ingredients left on the side of the bowl. That's fine. After about four or five minutes kneading on low, this dough will come together. It'll be satiny smooth and it'll be ready to rise. So see how the dough is gathering around the hook? It's not sticking in the bowl. That's perfect. That means it's nice and elastic. So it's actually been five minutes here and when I grab the dough and pull it, it's nice and stretchy. It's still a little bit sticky. That's fine. Beautiful. Awesome, right? All right, so now I'm gonna take some cooking spray and just give the bowl a little spray. And I gave the dough a little spray, so now I can get it off the hook and it won't stick all over my fingers. I'll just keep it in the same bowl that I mixed in. And I sprayed the bowl, sprayed the dough, and then if I just turn the bowl around like this, get an awesome ball of dough. It's coated with oil, so it's not gonna stick as it rises. So I'll cover this with a clean towel. And this dough really only has to rise for about 30 to 45 minutes just to give the yeast enough time to start working in the dough. And then all we have to do is shape the pretzels, dip them in a special solution and eat them. We're back here. Let's check out our soft pretzel dough. Look how much that rose. It actually was only about 35 minutes. And if I stick my finger into the dough, I keep that indentation. And this indentation lets me know my dough has risen perfectly. So let's get this out of the way here. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my table and then hopefully my dough pops right out. Bam, check it out. Good. All right, so you can cut your dough into as many pieces as you want. The bigger your pretzels are, the less pretzels you'll have. But um, I'm gonna aim to get about 10 pretzels out of here, so I'm gonna Cut my dough in half and then aim to cut it into five equal pieces. So I'll grab a sheet tray that's aligned with parchment. And I want to give it a nice generous spray with cooking spray so my finished pretzels don't stick. It's really important that I dip them in a baking soda solution. This is what gives uh, pretzels their signature golden brown, crispy crunch on the outside. So I had three cups of really hot water. 
And in that really hot water, I'm going to dissolve a third of a cup of baking soda. So I'll take my dough, stretch it out. Roll from the center out using my palms and fingers until it's about 30 inches long. Cross the two ends over and bring them down. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Now give a little bath in your baking soda solution. So once you have all of your pretzels on your baking sheet, you can take some coarse salt, I actually have pretzel salt here, nice big grains, and just sprinkle on as much salt as you like. These are your pretzels, so you can decide how much salt you wanna add. So we want these to bake quick and hot. So I have my oven set to 425. At home, you wanna set your oven to 450. And these should only take about 10 to 12 minutes to bake until our beautiful golden brown, and then we'll check them out. All that's left to do to finish up these Amish style soft pretzels is to hit them with some melted butter. Went a little heavy on that one, that's okay. I'll be eating that one right there. <laughs> so there you have it. This is my favorite recipe for Amish style soft pretzels. If this pan wasn't like 400 degrees, I'd be eating one right now. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in. If you want to get the recipe for these soft pretzels, head on over to my blog, bakingwithdan.com, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Until next time, guys, happy baking and stay sweet.